Hey there, sign of cancer. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for December 15th, 2020. Hope everybody's doing great. And I wanna thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, um, all of that. It really means a lot to me. So sending my gratitude out to you. And we hope that our intention is to get the our intention is to get the highest good, the message for the highest good for this sign of cancer. And uh, if we can have that divine white light shine on to those watching and the decks of cards, myself, the messages themselves, let's start off with a guardian angel card. Cancer. Angel of music. Angel of Music, okay, number 21. I'm gonna read this one just because it's kind of long. It's a little bit long. I can't really sum it up in just a few things. So this card came because it's a reminder that they want you to get the music back into your life. Um, music comes to us in many ways, shape or forms. Your angels notice that now is the time for you to reconnect with music so you enjoy this relationship once again. Your angels of music will give you messages via lyrics and sound vibrations that are contained within music. It is extremely important to pay attention to what songs keep appearing in your life. Pay attention to the lyrics as they contain messages from guidance above. It says, if you're currently feeling depressed, lost, or confused, surround yourself with music that is uplifting and inspirational. Music can make such a difference in how you perceive the world that you are in, and it helps lift your mood. This angel's, the angel may be here to inspire you to write and create music of your own. They may give you musical notes or inspire you to write a poem that you turn into a song. Many great composers, musicians, songwriters have been assisted by the angel of music. And the affirmation is, I find peace and solitude through listening to music. Music speaks to my soul and inspires me to fulfill my life's purpose. Wow. And I have also heard music for manifesting. I have heard that expression before. Music for manifesting because it gets you in a higher vibration. All right, this is the Energy Oracle deck. If we can get a card for our sign, Cancer, please. December 15th, 2020. All right. I think that's good. Rest and rejuvenation. Rest and rejuvenation, guys. That, that might be... Kind of the Four of Swords energy. So there's something that you need to maybe take a time out from. Um, they, it, it may be like going inside to find answers and meditating. It may be getting away from some kind of drama. Getting away from some conflict. And being with yourself. Sitting out the fight. Sitting out the fight. All right, let's look at the wisdom of the Oracle deck and we will see what they have to say to you. Wisdom of the Oracle. Colette Baron Reed. All right, for Cancer, December 15th, 2020. Here and now. The song is, this song, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so somebody really might be working on a song. I've even got the word song like jumbled up into my vocabulary for some reason. Here and now is really important. It's important so that we don't live in the past and get depressed or living in the future too much and then getting anxious about it. There's so th there's those two imbalances when really all that's happening is happening in this now moment. That's the only thing that ever really happens is now. 
All right. So, here and now, stay present. Stay present. Stay present. And also, when I think about staying present, I think about paying attention to signs, synchronicity, stuff like that. Oh, let's get an archetype before we do the tarot. Let's do an archetype for Cancer. All right, Cancer. I think we're ready. Let me give it a little shuffle. I think we're ready. The animal. Okay, I've never gotten this one, so I will have to read it. But it's the Kim Kranz archetype from the wild unknown, the animal. The animal, let's see here. And we've got, nine, okay, 19. Um, the animal, the beast, the wild one, the she-wolf. We are mammals. The hair on our chest and between our legs reminds us so. Well, that's descriptive. Uh, we try hard to deny our unrefined animalistic nature, yet through this archetype, we can tap into power and direction. Activating the animal within means reawakening our relationship to nature in the most broad and embodied sense. Drinking from waterfalls, roaring at the moon, opening eyes underwater, eating berries from the vine. The life force of our planet begs us to set down the devices, the constraints, and the social constructs and remember the warm blood that pulses through our veins. The animal longs for breath, food, procreation, and physicality. It wants soil under our nails and starlight on our skin. If all of this sounds terribly unsophisticated to you, take note that it is said when Buddha became enlightened, he roared like a great lion. <laughs> Means vital, elemental, alive. The animal demands that we get comfortable in our own skin. The minute that you accept, express, and celebrate the physical body, you tap into the animal energy. So there's something very natural about what you're doing right now. Something that comes naturally to you, and it might be like a talent of yours, something that maybe doesn't come natural to everybody else. This is something that comes really natural to you. And I think this is about taking time out to really think about doing something that you love for replacement of work. When, you know, Confucius said whenever we do something that we love, then we never really work a day. All right, so there's the animal. There's the animal. Let's get the tarot now. And we will try to see what else this is about, Cancer. This is about, a, I know this is about a calling. This is about a talent that's um, natural in you. And it maybe needs to be unleashed. It maybe needs to be unleashed. And they're telling you to live in the now. Live in the now. All right. Sign of Cancer, December 15th, 2020. And trust yourself. I'm getting the message, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Like you, you are correct on some issue. Trust yourself. All right. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. That is sitting in that loving leadership kind of energy. She's a feminine force to be reckoned with. It might be you. All right, issue. Issue has to do with nostalgia, with memories, family ties, possibly to do with a soulmate. It can be soulmate energy, this card. Whatever it is, it's about strengthening the bonds of your family. Partnership, 
some kind of partnership and decisions that need to be made within the family. We have the lover's card, the card of Gemini. Talks about making big, big decisions, but also um, this is something that's mutual and this is the challenge is making a decision that's, I feel like th that's the challenge is getting everyone to kind of agree on what decision to make. If that makes sense. Spirit advice. Ooh, nice. Message that money will be coming. Message that money will be coming. This might be a return on an investment. This might be any kind of investment, by the way. So if you, um, just using the music example, if you are writing a song or if you have been writing a song and you haven't had payoff, this is spirit maybe saying, you know, whatever you are going to do that you invest your time in, that you put a lot of love into, will pay off. In the past, some more memories. So lots of memories, Cancer. Lots of memories flying through our head. I see why it said here and now. Think of the here and now. Because you're thinking a lot about what was. Not necessarily a bad thing to think about what was, but doesn't really always help you, especially when we're supposed to be focusing on the here and now moment. Okay, near future, we're going to take a leap of faith. We're going to take a leap of faith. We're going to start something that maybe we've never done before, maybe a venture, and it may be like a change in, this can be, a change in any like a scene scenery or it can be a change of state of mind so like if you if you go from always thinking like negatively and pessimistically to being like more of an optimist thinking the glass is half full and realizing that that thinking is what brings things to you it's what attracts to you don't attract negativity to you all right, and then the probable outcome is the Eight of Cups. When you realize that something wasn't right for you and you walk away from it. When you realize that something, some situation was not right for you and you just up and walk away from it. Hmm. All right, guys. Um, let's see. Let's get you some tea leaves. And then we'll wrap up this reading and subscribe and join me for the next reading after this. All right, tea leaves, tea leaves, please, tea leaves. All right. All righty. We have scales. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a Libra. Keep your life in balance. Keep your life in balance. Keep your life in balance. Okay. Compliments from an admirer. Compliments from an admirer. Sunrise. New creative ideas. New ventures. A fresh start. There's the full energy. Fresh start. Wow. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. And that might be that Page of Pentacles. You know, that's, that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini. We have Aries. Hmm. You could, this could be talking about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right. Finger. Warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Warning you of a problem now or in the future. It has to do with some kind of decision that needs to be made. Because I'm wanting to put it right here, like towards the lovers. Um, towards this decision. Something really, really important about this decision that needs to be made. It's, it's a significant decision in your life. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Make sure you treat everybody you know, the way that you would want to be treated. But for sure, when you see this, to be on the extra, like, of the lookout that you might meet people that are going to be very, very important to your future success. 
All right, guys, sending much, much love and light out to you, Cancer, 